Namaskar Joy Akham Joy Hind, this is Abhoya Bhuya and you are watching Truth. This is for the first time that we are launching our English channel Truth by Abhoya Bhuya where we will try to sum up instances from India in English. Today, we are going to uncover one of the biggest scams that happened in Assam that is worth 10,000 crores that involves high profile celebrities, personalities from various fields and how all of a sudden this trading related scam or the unregulated deposit scam has unveiled a very mysterious nexus of financial scam in Assam. In this video, we are going to discuss and explain how it all happened and who uncovered this biggest mystery. hub of social media creators. As such, social media holds a significant impact upon the population of Assam. Sumi Bora, one of the most popular or viral actresses, alleged actress, who appeared on a few films but was a popular figure for reels on Instagram and Facebook. She is a personality who got famous for her extravagant wedding, was supposedly gifted by her brother. Vishal Fukan. Now this entire relationship holds a different dynamic. In Assam, people often gossips about it, but the truth is yet to be uncovered. However, this entire nexus was first debunked when a company named DB Stock Broking Agency initially was caught for scamming thousands of people worth 7,000 crores. When the story uncovered, it was found that the founder of DB Stock Broking Agency, Dipankar Burman, had conned over 1000 people in the name of trading, wherein they will seek your money in any of the mode, be it cash or be it card, and then invest it in the name of trading and instead he was running a scheme named Ponzi. Charles Ponzi in 1920s initiated this specific scheme where in a rotational basis he will seek your money, return it back to you and eventually create a network. Dipankar Borman was the first one here to be uncovered or unveiled in this specific financial scam. Dipankar Borman had conned thousands of people and eventually was caught. However, when the story broke out, Dipankar was nowhere found. He absconded. His girl my friend was caught, she was arrested, but till date, Dipankar Borman, who is alleged of scamming thousands of people worth 7,000 crore, is still absconding. He is nowhere found. After DB Stock Broking Agency scam was unveiled, another scam emerged, and that was of Sumi Bora and Vishal Fukan. Sumi Bora being an emerging lady who was popular on the screen of television, on the screen of internet, had allegedly scammed people using Vishal Fukan's name in a similar way just as Dipankar Borman did. They seek money from people in the guise of investing it in stock market, however, that is not the truth. They were following the same pattern as Dipankar did. They would seek your money and in a rotational basis create a network of people and reinvest your money in someone else's account. And in a way, they created a huge empire of money made out of the public's hard work. Their scam is alleged of being over 2200 crores. Now imagine all of this happening in a state like Assam. Sumi Bora's entire nexus includes several high profile personalities. This includes several singers who have previously worked with Sumi. This includes several actors and actresses. This entire issue brought a turmoil in Assam where Sumi Bora became the center of discussion for each and every household in Assam. People might not like talking about it, some might like talking about it, but nobody could ignore this scam. Sumi officially says that Vishal is someone who she made her brother. That is, they did not have any blood relation, yet they were close acquaintances to each other where Sumi considered Vishal as her brother. Vishal being just a 21 year old was alleged of doing a scam worth 1000 crores in Assam. Right after the scam was uncovered, Vishal was arrested from his residence in Dibrugar. Sumi and her husband Tarkik Bora, who is also a photographer, was absconding since then. Disappearing for over 10 days, 
Sumi and Tarkik were nowhere found. Suddenly, a video emerges on a specific news channel where she claimed she is going to surrender. At the time when she announced of surrendering in front of police, she was found giving an interview to a news channel. Now this brings back to a point where a new controversy erupted which brought in a several set of YouTubers including myself for doing a podcast or interview with Sumi Bora a year back. Now if we go down the lane, we will uncover that a year back when Sumi's extravagant wedding took place in Udaipur's luxurious hotel named Ruffles, she almost booked 80 rooms worth 1.5 lakhs each. She booked an entire flight to take her entire village along with her to celebrate her wedding. This became the talk of the town then. And eventually, in our podcast channel, I'm told by Oboya Bhuya, we invited her to know and talk more about her wedding. It was a fun, candid interview or a podcast where we tried to uncover the main reason or the main source behind how she organized her wedding. After Sumi surrendered, she appeared in a mysterious news channel which was taken over by a senior journalist just a few months back wherein she claimed that the entire wedding was gifted to her by Vishal. Wedding con zundu dhorne kori se. Impossible ni ki ahomot tene ko biya ahon pata. No, impossible hai. Amar ichha na sille. Amar hopu na sille. Amar biya. Amar dutar biya. Amar hopu na sille. Ki bisari sille. Udaipur, it's a beautiful place. So very dream destination hai. Biya khonat basic ho thano konde. Ata statement kom. Manu yaro ki koi. That is no point because wedding hotel look na sille. I don't invited also. Mainly biya khonal hai isu. Ki mung ni to baat hi se. Taaki tar. ডর <laughs> উদয়পুর <laughs> However, a year later, when she appeared in this specific news channel, she claimed she did not know Vishal other than just having a professional relation with him and that Vishal eventually gifted her the entire expenses for her wedding and that it was never her dream. These two contradictory interviews will show you the brutal truth or the mysterious scam that took place behind this entire financial fraud. Sumi and her husband Tarkik were put behind the bars. They were put in the lockups, given five days police custody before appearing in front of the court. The Assam cabinet has now decided to hand over the entire cases that includes 32 cases so far to the Central Bureau of Investigation. Assam Chief Minister Dr. Himanto Bisho Sharma was the first one to eventually catch this entire nexus. A few weeks back, a group of people wanted to meet the Chief Minister to donate 1 crore rupees to the Chief Minister's relief fund. Doubting about the background of this group, CM instructed Assam police to conduct a thorough investigation about the background of this specific group. And eventually it was found that this is a similar group that was running Ponzi scheme in the name of trading or investing in the stock market. After this revelation, Dipankar Borman's scam came in front and subsequently this uncovering of mysterious scams initiated in Assam. Currently in every district of Assam, several such schemes in the name of Ponzi or in the name of investing in the name of trading in stock market are taking place. The Assam government has decided to hand over entire cases to CBI. The Assam government has now decided to hand over all these cases to CBI which will include the enforcement directorate and even the income tax. Imagine in a state like Assam where the population is merely 3.5 crores 
where majority of the people are in the rural areas they are suffering from scams like this this is purely because of lack of awareness because of lack of information and digital illiteracy Assam's story of digital divide is true people here are more underprivileged than being privileged of the contents that are available on the internet taking advantage of this lack of information sumi bora like criminals are taking the advantage to con people seek their public money seek the public's money to invest in their own lifestyle creating an enigma of luxurious lifestyle that they are selling to increase the level and density of their scams this entire scam is worth 10000 crores in assam this brings in an important question how vigilant is assam police in uncovering such instances be it dipankar borman who is absconding since the last several weeks be it sumi bora who could hide in her own place because she believes she was not absconding she was simply hiding if criminals like this can walk under the nose of the assam police and the home ministry imagine where we are living right now this is the biggest mysterious or the biggest scam that was uncovered in assam maybe in this entire decade in the time to come we will know who are the high profile personalities wherein vishal sumi like scammers invested crores with cbi taking over this case is yet to reveal a lot many secrets this is a new initiative under the part of truth we will try to uncover several such instances in english and we hope in a way you will be our great help our great support let us know in the comment section what you think about this entire 10000 crore scam that took place in assam and how assam police is handling it thank you for tuning in subscribe to our youtube channel like this video if you found it informative native also comment your thoughts below in the comment section thank you for watching this video namaskar